AccuSlide, cocking and decocking. In this video, I'm going to cover the proper use of the AccuSlide cocking and decocking unit and the Extend adjustable crank handle. The AccuSlide trigger operation is completely silent when cocking, and additionally, it has the ability to decock the crossbow safely. It's also equipped with an auto brake gear system to eliminate the possibility of the crank handle spinning out of control when cocking or decocking. Its companion, the Extend adjustable crank handle, is compact enough to fit securely in its stock storage position and will extend to 7.5 inches for extra leverage resulting in easier cranking during the cocking process. Press down on the trigger lock latch with your index finger or thumb to allow the trigger box to travel down the barrel to the string. Then, firmly push down on the forward assist knob located on the left side of the trigger box to attach it securely to the string. When the trigger box is securely latched, the safety will move from F fire to S safe. If you do not see the safety move to the S safe position, the string will only be seated on the DFI, dry fire inhibitor, and not on the string latch. Remove the crank handle from the stock. Then push in on the release button with your index finger or thumb before inserting it into the cocking device's square recess hole. Note, you must push in on the crank handle's release button for proper connection. Once the crank handle is attached, pull back on the crank handle knob to extend the handle to its full length, which is ideal for cranking. Keeping a firm grip with your left hand on the buttstock and the crossbow pointed downward, rotate the crank handle forward clockwise to begin cocking your crossbow. Note, if at any point you decide to stop this process, you can simply rotate the crank handle in reverse counterclockwise and let the trigger travel back down the crossbow barrel. As you cock the crossbow, you are also able to let go of the crank handle at any point and the handle will not backwind or spin out of control. Continue to rotate the crank handle forward clockwise until the trigger box is in its fully latched position. When latched, you should see the trigger lock latch lever move and hear an audible click as the trigger box latches. The trigger is now in the cocked, ready to fire position. Note. Visually verify by looking through the trigger release lever window that the trigger lock latch is hooked onto the trigger box pin. Once your crossbow has been cocked, backwind counterclockwise the crank handle to complete turns. Then, place your left thumb on top of the stock, comb, and your index finger over the gear release button. Press and hold the gear release button with your left index finger and backwind counterclockwise the crank handle one additional complete turn. While it's still attached to the cocking device's square recess hole, hold the crank handle knob and push on the handle to collapse it back to its original storage length. Remove the handle by pushing in the crank release button. Then, insert the crank handle back into the stock storage position. You are now ready to load an arrow on the flight deck. AccuSlide decocking. Before attempting to decock your crossbow, make sure it is unloaded. Also, make sure there's nothing obstructing the flight path of the bowstring or in the path of the trigger sliding down the barrel. Start by holding the buttstock with your left hand and the crossbow pointed downward. Then, remove the cranking handle from the stock, push in on the release button with your index finger, and insert it into the cocking device's square recess hole. Once the crank handle is attached, pull back on the crank handle knob to extend the handle to its full length. Now, you must relieve some of the tension on the trigger lock latch. Do this by using your left index finger or thumb to press down on the trigger lock latch. Then, slowly rotate the crank handle forward clockwise only until the latch moves or releases. Note. It is important to stop cranking forward as soon as the lock latch releases to prevent damage to the AccuSlide unit. As soon as the trigger lock latch releases, start to backwind counterclockwise to lower the trigger box down the barrel. Once the trigger box has moved approximately one half inch, place your left hand 
back on the rear of the buttstock to securely hold the crossbow while you continue to lower the trigger. Note, do not continue to keep the trigger lock latch button pushed down while decocking. Once all the tension is off the strap, the crossbow is uncocked. At this point, you can collapse the crank handle, remove it from the cocking unit, and place it back into the stock storage location. Note, the trigger box can stay attached to the bowstring during storage. If you wish to remove the trigger box from the string, follow the directions in the Removing the Trigger Box from the Bowstring video at 10pointcrossbows.com slash instructional videos. If you have further questions, please contact our customer service department at 330-628-9245.